Good morning, everybody. How we doing? All right. So, hey, look, I just said it again. Number one, always, every single time. Uh, video might look a little bit blurry today, but that's just because I'm using something different today. I'm actually using Zoom to record this uh, to see if we can do something a little different, a little bit different today, because today's standard that we're doing is 4.nbt.7. Uh, so what this is, is comparing numbers. Now, when we're looking at comparing numbers, we need to make sure that we are looking at the place value of each number, uh, the place and the value of each number, like we did yesterday. So, uh, Everything that we did yesterday is going to just keep on, everything actually that we've done so far besides line plots is all just building up to what we're getting to. Um, and I don't wanna make this as boring as it possibly could be because we all know that comparing numbers isn't, we already know how to compare numbers, um, but reviewing it is always nice, uh, especially for some of you that might still get a little confused on it maybe when we get to, to the larger numbers. Um, what I've noticed is that uh, because this is such an easy standard for us, that when we do get questions based off of comparing numbers, this is where we get uh, almost, well, you've heard me say it before, overconfident. And you like to just go ahead and, and grab the one without actually showing how you know the answer. So today we're going to do a little, um, we're going to look at some movies. We're gonna look at some movies, we're gonna look at some movie times, and we're going to, I'm gonna ask you some questions and we're gonna write it down in our notebooks. And we're gonna make sure, let me grab my notebook here, hold on. I got my notebook, I got my pen. <clears throat> and we're going to look at some movie times and see what's up. So movie times that we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna actually look at all of the Marvel movies in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, okay, and the MCU. So when doing this, uh, I'm actually gonna screen share, this is why I'm using Zoom, I'm gonna screen share to show you what the movies look like, and then, so in your notebook, we need to set this up so that way we can actually do it correctly. So, um, notebook, red line. Okay, to the left of the red line is where I want us up at the top. We're gonna put the year. I'm gonna draw a line all the way down that red line. So I got year, line all the way down. Next, I'm gonna put movie title. And I'm gonna separate that. So yeah, movie title and separating that. And if it is too blurry for you to see, try to figure out how to spell it yourself. It's all good. So we got year, then movie title. Um, I want character, okay? So main character, main character. Now, some of you might be saying, Mr. Dolan, Mr. Dolan, when you have the Avengers, it's all, I know, we know it's, we know who the main characters are in, in the all the movies, so. Don't worry, You'll, we'll understand that in a second. So yeah, again, year, movie title, main character, and then right here on the last one, we're gonna do runtime. So I guess this is, really does kind of go into line plots as well because we have to collect our data. So again, year, movie title, main character, runtime. If you need to pause the video to make sure that you can see those, go ahead and do that. So when I say the year, we're gonna write down the year. Um, I might switch back and forth between the screen sharing so that you can see me and we can write it down together. I'm not sure yet. Sometimes I kind of want you guys to do it on your own, but we're gonna do this for all, it should be about, there should be 20 movies. So we should, we're gonna do this for all 20 movies because I wanna do some stuff with it. So, screen sharing. Mm -mm -mm. Bam. And share your sound, optimize, bam. Okay, so we should be 
shared right now. So what I'm, as you can see up here, I'm on marvel.com uh, forward slash movies. And this is showing me all of the movies of Marvel. And it's actually got a lot more than that. It's got videos, characters, comics, movies, TV shows, games, news, more. Okay, I love this site, just so you know. But I wanna focus on the movies in the MCU up through phase four, or up and including phase four. So we're gonna start off right here with Iron Man. We're not gonna watch the trailer, I'm sorry. But we are gonna come down here, and we're gonna look at the overview, okay? Now, overview is going to actually tell us, okay, who it's directed by, our runtime, and the release date. So the release date is May 2nd, 2008. So in the year, you're going to put 5-2-08 for 5-2-08. The movie title, you can just put Iron Man. Main character, who is it? Iron Man or Tony Stark, I don't know. And then the runtime. So the runtime we're gonna look at right here. And actually, let me um, let me make this might be easier for you to see with the screen share. I'm not sure. 126 minutes. So we're gonna start in the runtime. 126. So let me stop the screen share for a second. So this is what it's gonna look like. Year five two oh eight. Main uh, movie title, Iron Man. Main character, Iron Man or Tony Stark. And runtime, 120, 126. Got it. We're going to do that for all of them. So if you need to pause, pause. Okay, if you need to pause the video, pause the video. It's okay. We're not going anywhere. You're still there. I'm still here. We're still doing stuff. Okay? Um, screen share again. And boom, and sure. Okay, here we are, we're back. So we've got that one. So that's the first movie that actually came out in the MCU. Second movie, second movie. I don't know if anybody, I don't know if you guys have actually seen this one because they kind of originally, they weren't sure if they were gonna have it. So Edward Norton actually was uh, the Incredible Hulk. I liked this movie back then. Um, I was a big Edward Norton fan. I'm not gonna show you the trailer. You can look up the trailer on your own if you want. So, this, uh, let's see, release date. We got six. So this is the year, 6, 13, 08. So I guess we really shouldn't have to do 08, or we only have to do, because I said it to write year. Um, we'll do those two the entire day, and then we'll go back to just the year after. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, movie title, this is called The Incredible Hulk. Main character, you can say the Hulk. Tyrell, I hope that you're wearing your Hulk shoes right now. You can put Bruce Banner too if you want to do anything else. And runtime is 112 minutes, so 112. And you go back. So we got two done. Next movie was Iron Man 2. So you see how we're gathering our data here? We're gathering our data. So we have year. I'm just going to put the year this time. So this year is 2010. Movie title, Iron Man 2. Main character, who do you think? Iron Man, yes. And runtime. If you look right here, it says 124 minutes. Now, if you are getting board at this point and you think that we're going too slow, you can see where the website is. So if you want to pause this video and you want to go to the website, let me go back here. Okay, This right here is the website, marvel.com forward slash movies. If you want to go to that website and find these yourself and then check to see if it matches with mine at the end, I think that'd be a great idea. I think that's actually showing that you're going above and beyond. That's That's the difference between a three and a five on the EOG, okay? Um, so if you wanna go ahead and do the rest of them on your own, we're gonna go up through the last one, which is Endgame, okay? I know they got some, uh, sorry, we're actually gonna go from, yeah, let's go through Endgame because Spider-Man Far From Home, I think is the start of phase five. 
So let's just go through endgame. Let me see. I got six, 12, 18. Yeah, let's go through endgame. There's, it looks like there's 22 movies. So just through endgame. Um, next one, we got four. So, hmm, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, okay, how can I make this easier collecting data? Let me actually stop the share for a second. So, collecting data. We noticed when we were doing the cars with the line plot that it wasn't easy to collect that data when the cars kept on coming through, right? Especially with one person. I think trying to yell out black, green, blue, or no, I remember the color this time. It was blue, white, black and gray. I missed red. Everybody like loved to let me know in the comments that it was red. Including my mom. She texted me. She said it was red. Um, so we got to figure out better ways to, to figure out data. Going through here, okay. Main character I can help you out with. Movie title and year. There's a faster way that we can do this. We want to collect data in the most efficient way possible. We don't want to sit there and do the the cars, it would have been a lot better if I had four people, right? I could have done the uh, the blue cars. Um, Hannah could have done the white cars. Jordan could have done the black cars. And uh, Yoretsi could have done the, the gray cars. And we had all four people looking at just those cars. We could have collected data and made it a lot simpler to do. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to do this so that we're not spending our time clicking in every single thing. So obviously here, we can see all the years of the movies, right? And we can see all the titles of the movies. So let's just go through and write down the movie titles and the years. The next one right here is movie title four, year 2011. Then we gotta come over here. Uh, Captain America, the first Avengers, that's the movie title. Captain America. I'm gonna put TFA, the first Avenger, and 2011. Next one is the Avengers, that's the movie title. Then we have Iron Man 3. which is 2013. I don't know if I said 2012 for the Avengers. Thor Dark World, 2013. I hope you can hear me, my pen scratching because we're doing this too. Next one, Captain America, the Winter Soldier. That's 2014. So I'm gonna put Captain America WS Winter Soldier so I can fit it. 2014, Guardians of the Galaxy. Twenty fifteen, Avengers Age of Ultron. So I'm gonna put Avengers um, A O U. Two thousand fifteen, Ant Man. Two thousand sixteen, Captain America, Civil War. I'm going to put just CW. Two thousand sixteen, Doctor Strange. Love that movie. It's literally probably one of my favorites. It's, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't think it was going to be, but I, I love Benedict Cumberbatch, and uh, I just thought that movie was great. Uh, Two thousand seventeen. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. 2017, Spider-Man Homecoming. 2017, Spider-Man Homecoming. Keep going up, we still got a whole bunch here. We got 2017, Thor Ragnarok. Wasn't a big fan of that one. I think it could have been really good, but I don't know. The humor in that was a little, nah, not my favorite. I know this one's a lot of people's favorites. We had 2018 Black Panther. 
Let's go 2018. We got Avengers Infinity War. So it's Avengers. I'm just going to put IAIW for Infinity War. 2018, Ant-Man the Wasp. Two thousand nineteen, Captain Marvel, and then two thousand nineteen. The last one that we're going to do is Avengers Endgame. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oops, sorry. I'm I saw something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 movies. Okay, now we need to go through and we need to look at their run times. This is going to be a lot easier. So we're on Thor. So I'm on Thor. Open it up. Run time, 115. Back. Captain America, First Avenger. Runtime, 124. The Avengers. One forty three. So some of you should already be thinking about when you're writing these down. Ooh, ooh, that was the longest one so far. Agreed. 143 minutes is the longest movie that we've seen so far out of these ones. Uh, kept, uh, or, sorry, Iron Man 3, 130 minutes. And when you're sitting there thinking, okay, ooh, that one's longer. Ooh, that one's shorter. I want to know why. Why do you think that those numbers are shorter? And what you should be thinking of is due to the place value. You can tell by that tens place, because so far all of our uh, hundreds places have a one in it. Dark World, Thor Dark World is 112. Captain America Winter Soldier, I love this movie. Where are we at? 136. Guardians of the Galaxy. You can see how we're collecting data so much faster now that we wrote all those down. Where's that runtime? Didn't load. Hey, hey. What's the matter? There we go. 121. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. Avengers Age of Ultron. And I know this is a lot of data. Ooh, 141. That almost was the most. And you should be thinking to yourself, hmm, what's the commonality? What's the similarity between the two that are the longest so far. Ant-Man. 117. It's actually interesting to me because I have never done this before either. And looking at the, the similarities between the time differences and the characters that they are, which is Okay, Civil War, 147. Everybody should be saying, hey, that's the longest one so far. Due to what place? How do you know that that is the longest movie that we've seen so far? What place tells you that? The one's place, very good. Because the seven is greater than the three and the one. Um, 115 for Doctor Strange. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. 
Hey, what's the matter with you? 136. Come back. Spider Man. I'm going to assume that Spider Man was a long one because people love Spider Man. I'm going to assume before we actually get down to it. It is 133. Not super long, not super short though. Thor Ragnarok is next. Coming down, coming down. Runtime, 130. We got one, two, three, four, five more. Five more. Black Panther. Black Panther. Let's see what we got. 134 minutes. Avengers Infinity War. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be very, very long compared to the longest movie so far since, look, it's got all the characters in it. So let's see. This should be the, definitely the longest so far. Sometime. 149. Is that the longest so far? Yes, it is. I was actually expecting it to be a little bit longer than that, but all right, 149. Ant-Man and the Wasp, very underrated movie. Shout out to uh, Ms. Gelbert's boyfriend there. Uh, very, very underrated movie. <gasps> no, where's the runtime? Oh no, the runtime's not there. Well, what do we do here? If we come up to something and all of a sudden our data isn't there, what should we do? We look somewhere else, right? So I'm gonna come up. Here, open up a tab. And I'm going to type in runtime of Ant Man and the Wasp movie, Marvel. See how I did that super specific because I want to get to it as fast as possible. All right, production company, Marvel Studios, distributed by, yep, let's see, 20, June 25th, 2018. I'm going to double check. It says July 6th, so why would it be? Oh, oh, that's in a different theater, so July 6th. Yep, there we go. Running time, 118. So I'm going to put 118 down, and I'm going to exit out of that tab. I'm done with that. Paul Rudd. <laughs> Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, I don't... I don't know how long this one's going to be. 125, eh? Okay, and then Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame should have been super long. Super long because it was the, it was the end of the era of all of these things. So this should be the longest, and we will see that it is not here. What? Is it anywhere else? Why is it not there? That was pretty cool though. I'm surprised it doesn't have the, the runtime on here, especially on this one of all things. Okay, so I gotta open up another tab. Runtime of Avengers Endgame Marvel or movie Marvel. What do you mean approximately three hours? I want to know exactly what it is. This is Digital Spy. Let's click. Cinema chains were listing the movie whoop, as, begin, as being three hours and two minutes long by co-director Joe Russo. Revealed to comicbook.com that the runtime has been trimmed by a further minute post production. I think it's three hours and 58 seconds. He said, We just sped up the credits, is what we did. 
Okay, so this is including the credit. So we'll go with the three hours, two minutes long. So if you don't know how to do that math, three hours is 60 minutes each. 60, 120, 182. So that's 182 minutes. And I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to stop the share. Hey, so I've got all this so far. A lot of writing. A lot of writing. This is showing. Stay with me. Stay with me because this is so important, not just for now, but for later on. If you're interested in this type of stuff, this is data that you need to collect, whether you are in school or whether, okay, I do this data for golf all the time. I do this data for baseball all the time. I do this data with you guys. You guys all see my spreadsheets. I'm a, I love spreadsheets. You can do the same thing on a spreadsheet, but you have to first learn it by writing it down. Um, so let's go through main characters. We got Iron Man for Iron Man, Hulk, Iron Man. Who do you think the main character for Thor is? Thor. Thor. Captain America. Um, Captain America. The Avengers, we can actually just write the Avengers, all of them. Iron Man 3. Iron Man. The dark, uh, Thor Dark World would be Thor again. Captain America Winter Soldier is going to be Captain America. Guardians of the Galaxy, we can actually just put them. Avengers, we can just put the Avengers. Ant-Man, we can put Ant-Man. Captain America Civil War. I know it's called Captain America Civil War. There's a lot of characters in it. I almost want to say, and due to the fact that it's 147 minutes, which is very similar to the two other Avengers movies, let's put all. Let's just put the word all on that one because everyone was really in that movie. Doctor Strange, we can put Doctor Strange. Guardians of the Galaxy, we can put them again. We can put Guardians. Spider-Man Homecoming, we can put Spider-Man. Thor Ragnarok, we can put Thor and the Hulk. Let's do that. Let's put Thor and the Hulk because they're both important in that movie. Black Panther, of course, is going to be Black Panther. Avengers Infinity War, we're going to put all from Avengers. Ant-Man and the Wasp, really just Ant-Man, we can put Ant-Man again. Captain Marvel, we'll put Captain Marvel. And Avengers Endgame, we can put Avengers. And if you need time to write those down, write those down. If you need to stop, pause, rewind, go back, you can. Data. Entire sheet full of math data so far. Okay. So what do I want to do with this? Now that we have these, I want to compare some numbers. Okay? But I don't want to make it easy on you. I don't want to make it easy on you. Um, we're actually going to keep this because we're going to do line plots with this later on because there's so much that we can do on here. That was a lot of fun for me writing it down. If it's not fun for you, oh well, you got to do it anyway. Um, let's look at, I want to look at all the, all the run times for three specific characters to begin with, okay? Let's look at the run times for Iron Man, Captain America, and then Avengers, okay? Iron Man, Captain America, and then Avengers. So Iron Man, we need to write this down. So actually, let's do on the next page, okay? Blank page. I'm going to write Iron Man. And I'm gonna look for all the main characters that say Iron Man. Iron Man, I got 126. So let's see if I can. So I'm using the computer, not the phone today. Mm. No. Iron Man 126, 124, 130, 130. And I'll stop there. And I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna add those up. Okay. 126, 124, 130. I want you to add those up. 
even though today's not an edition day, tomorrow's edition day. Maybe, maybe we'll continue with this. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I got 10, regroup into the tens place. I got five and eight, and then I got three. So I should have 380 minutes for all Iron Man Whoa. movies. Now, Captain America. One twenty four, one thirty six. I'm gonna make it audible. I'm gonna change audible. Mean in this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna change here something. Um, let's go back to that Captain America Civil War, and let's just put Captain America just for the purposes of this. So Captain America, we got one twenty four. Captain America one thirty six, and Captain America one forty seven. And I want you to add those up. 10, 17, regroup to the tens place. 3, 6, 10, regroup to the hundreds place. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 407 minutes for Captain America. And then Avengers. So anytime we see the main characters be the Avengers, we're gonna add those up. So yeah, Avengers 143. Avengers 141. Uh, Avengers 149 and Avengers 182. Pause if you need to do the math. Three and uh, nine and one is 10 plus three and two is 15. Regroup the one. Four, eight, 12. 12 plus eight is 20 plus one is 21. Regroup the two. Two, three, four, five, six. So we have 615 minutes. For that. So now let's put those together. So this is where everything's going to get to where we used to do it. I want you to put Iron Man on top, 380. Line up the 407 of Captain America and then line up the 615 of the Avengers. We do not need to add those, I even though I put a plus sign. We do not need to add those. Okay. We got 380, 407, 615. Do not add them. We are comparing. We are comparing. So what do we do when we compare? Put them in the columns. You're ready. So I want to separate the columns after they are all lined up. Now, the main thing that needs to be lined up is the ones place. I'm going to star the ones place because the ones place is the one that always has to be lined up no matter how what's going on. The ones place has to be lined up. Now, once we start there, we work from left to right. So I'm going to go left to right. And I'm going to look here. My In this case, the greatest column I have is the hundreds column. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Which number is the greatest number? Three four or six you should say six so we're going to circle that six that's telling us that 615 is the greatest number okay so on the side i'm going to put a g for greatest <clears throat> now we're between the three and the four okay which is greater three or four the four is greater than the three, right? So we can go ahead and we can say that the three is the least. Now, if we were to write this, we would go 380 is less than 407, which is less than 615. Now, these signs can be confusing as well, right? We talked about those signs. I'm gonna draw three of them here. We have our three signs here. We have less than, equal to, or greater than. Do you remember what it was that I showed you, like why these actually are the way that they are? It has to do with the space between the lines. So in an equal sign, 
the space between these lines are always going to be the same. Now, we didn't learn it then, but these lines are going to be what? What type of lines, think about geometry, what type of lines are or is an equal sign? Parallel, they are parallel lines because they will never touch. They're the same distance apart, always. And that's how you know it's equal. The number that on one side will be equal to the other side because these are equal distances apart. In a less than sign, the distance between the open area and the closed area are way different, right? Over here is much less distance in between the two lines than these two. These two lines actually make up a what? An angle or they're intersecting lines and they definitely, the intersecting lines are definitely not going to be equal compared right that way. But this space here is greater than this space. So the number on the right side where the, the second grade term of the alligator of the mouth, okay, we're not gonna use those anymore. I know you can use it if you need to, but I want you to know why it actually is. The greater distance between those two lines, that is where the greater number goes. When there's less distance in between the two lines, that's where the least number goes. So the same thing with this side. This is a greater distance apart than this, okay? I've already made up my mind that we are going to do another lesson with this stuff because there's more, there's more, um, I don't know, I don't know where, it, but there's more things that we can do with comparing that has to do with yesterday's lesson with the, with the word form and expanded form. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. Um, but let's do one more example with greater numbers than what we just did there. So I'm gonna to flip to the next page. I know we're using three today. And I'm gonna write down two numbers. Here are my two numbers. I have 74,189 and 74,163. And we need to know which of these is greater. I've already lined them up. So that way my ones place are exactly the same. And now we need to put them in the columns. They're in columns, and this is exactly how I look at them. So I start left to right. Let me write down left to right. What place is this? If this is the ones, this is the what? The tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands. Very good. So in the ten thousandth place, we have 70,000 and 70,000. They are the what? They are the same. So we're going to cross those out. Don't need it. Don't need it. Those do not help us figure out which of these numbers is greater. Look at the thousands place. 4,000 and 4,000. Does that help? No. Cross them out. Hundreds place. 100 and 100. Does that help? No. They're the same number. Tens place. Ah, finally different numbers. Now we can figure something out. Which is greater, an eight or a six? Eight is greater, so we're going to circle that number, and then we're going to write this out. I always start with the top. Seven, four, one, eight, nine, or 74,189 is greater than, make sure that the large amount of space is facing the greater number, 74,000. 163. And it's all due to the tens place. So if you're ever asked, well, how do you know that that number is greater? I want you to say, well, 
I know that this number is greater because the eight in the tens place is greater than the six in that tens place. Okay. There's gonna be a Master Connect code in your Google Classroom. You'll be able to see it. Um, I know we did a lot today. We took a lot of notes. We did a lot of data. We're gonna use that data definitely tomorrow and definitely later on. So do not lose your notebook. Do not lose that page. We will be coming back to that page, okay? We will be coming back to that page. Don't lose it. And if you didn't do it and you just waited for me to get done with all this stuff, go back and do it because we're gonna be using that page, okay? Um, simple one, take your time on the Mastery Connect questions so that way you don't make any silly mistakes and then we'll get into a little bit harder, a um, little bit harder comparisons tomorrow, all right? See you later. Have a good, uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.